Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to pickle some jalapenos for you and show you that recipe that I got going on. Um, here's a jar I made probably a couple weeks ago. I didn't put enough in it. Well, I did, but uh, they turned out really, really good. I ate some last night, but really good. Um, so, I'll go through this recipe with you, show you how it's done. I also did some uh, uh, past couple weeks. The cucumbers, I did a, um, some relish, sweet relish, and did some butter pickles, uh, probably about a month ago, kind of like four or five, six jars of these, and I made some, um, uh, spaghetti sauce the other day, it turned out really good, uh, I think this weekend I'm going to have spaghetti maybe tomorrow night, or, t yeah, tomorrow night for dinner. So I'll use some of this. I'm going to try that out. Well, I'll be back with you. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get all your jalapenos together. Um, I got around 10 or 12 right here. I just picked these from the garden this morning. And what you're going to want to do is take a knife. Some people cut them in half or cut them in uh, slices. Some people just uh, slit them straight down. Just down the middle, long ways, and you should be good. What it does is it lets that uh, pickling solution get down, and get in there, and pickle it much faster. It should only take about, on average, two weeks for these to completely pickle. I'm pickling mine for um, salsa that I'm going to be doing. Here, I'll grab you a an example of what I've been doing to my tomatoes with the exception of the uh, other one. I've been, uh, I have a food saver bag and I've been picking my tomatoes and then chopping them up pretty decently and then so they're ready for salsa. Then all I gotta do is add this, add some other, you know, spices and stuff like that. I have like five packs like these right now. I've gotten a lot of tomatoes this year. But I'll, uh, I'll be back with you after I get all these cut and all that. Okay, while you're cutting and doing your other little things, you also want to get your water ready and boiling right around that time probably. Um, this is jar I'm using. I don't know what I did with the seal. There it is. So what you want to do with these is you want to let I'm going to put the seal in last, but you want to let these boil for about 15 minutes. I've had mine already primed and ready to do. So I'm going to let those boil for 15 minutes. That should give me enough time to get this stuff ready. So what I'm going to do is turn this one on, and we'll go back over here. Now what you want, if you want just a small batch, so you're going to want roughly about three cups, well you are going to want three cups of vinegar, white vinegar. Um, cider vinegar can be used as well, I've never used it, but uh, so what you're going to want to do is get three cups of vinegar and then hold up, you'll want to also add one cup of water to it. That'll uh, tone down the uh, the vinegar a little bit and then so there's that and then you're going to want to take and put about a cup of sugar in there this is this is a half a cup calls for a half a cup um, I'm going to put about three-fourths of a cup something like that because uh, that's what I did last time and it was really good it was sweet it, you got the sweetness at the beginning and then you started feeling the, uh, the hotness it was real good I really liked it so what we'll do is we'll get that and we will pour it into our thing we'll let this both heat or we'll let this heat up sure you get all your sugar, mine kind of, there we go, 
You might let it uh, heat up first before you add the sugar too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that sit. This is going to boil for 15 minutes. So is that. Got these. I got all my jalapenos cut up. Um, also, the uh, the hottest part of the, the jalapeno is the inside membrane, that little white section that you probably see right there. It's not the seeds, but uh, that's what you're going to want. And you might want to wear some gloves with this. I've done this a few times, so I'm pretty confident I'm not going to hurt myself or burn my eyes by rubbing them. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to cut up, it's kind of nasty right here, it's kind of an old clove of garlic, but this side's good. And it's going to be pickled anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm going to get up, get some garlic, get those cut up and diced up. And uh, just a couple little cloves and to put in it, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes, and I'm going to pull this jar out of the uh, hot water. You know, you want to make sure your jar is still pretty pretty hot before you put these uh, with uh, brine in it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack these in there. I hope that I have enough room. I'm going to pack that in there. You can crush them in there a little bit if you want. Um, it's like I'm going to be about four short, maybe. What I'll do next is I'm going to cut my garlic up and I'm going to put a, some cloves down here. I probably should have done it at the beginning. Okay, what I'm going to do next, you can either ladle this in or just pour it in. I probably have a little extra that I had, but it's in a very big batch. Pour it in a little slow. Let the air kind of get out of the peppers a little bit. Show you how to, a little technique on how to get the air, the rest of the air out. This little thing helps a lot. You want to fill it about an inch from the top. I got this a little overflowed, but this is still kind of dropping down into the peppers a little bit. Hopefully. I'm going to have to pour some of this out real quick. Be right back. Okay, so you can probably, you can probably see that some of these bubbles are still kind of coming up. Um, to get some of that air out, you can take a butter knife just kind of press gently against them and that'll pull some of the air out that'll suck some of the juice back down in there I don't know what I'm going to do about this pepper let's run that down, see all those air bubbles Alright, so what do you want to make sure, I got about an inch from the top, what you want to make sure to do is get this rim cleaned off real good, otherwise the seal won't stick very well. Um, I'm going to dry this off so it's not damp around the seal, and I'm just going to place the seal right on top. And when you do this, my lid, place it on top, which you just want to screw it down tight, there's a little bubble right here, after about an hour or so, this heat is going to evaporate, or try to evaporate, and uh, end up making it sealed and airtight. So, then you just wait, it'll pop after about an hour, shelf stable for up to a year. And I'm pickling these for my salsa, but I also, depending on how much I get left at the end of the season, I might actually just pickle some and, you know, just keep them for a rainy day. But, um, there is my recipe for making pickled jalapeno peppers and uh, you guys have a good one uh, take care and uh, I'll talk to you later bye